Hello everyone, I'm here in Fisher Online and I'm currently in Siberia, the DLC lake um, somebody asked me today in chat is Siberia worth it to buy the DLC so I thought yeah let me just make a quick little video how I fish Siberia now Siberia, a big advantage of Siberia it's a really really good XP and money lake and the species I'm going to show you how to catch them are the Lenox the lake white fish, the humpback white fish and the muxin, the muxins as well and also the Lenox these guys the large humpbacks, very good XP and money the lake white fish, that's the ones you'll catch the most and they have not a little bit worse XP but not too bad the Muxins, very good XP and money as well and of course the Lenox um, these guys are the best money of all four of the species so I just want to make a quick video on how you can catch these this is what I mostly target here in Siberia because that's the best money and XP and the nice thing about all of them you will see all these it's not very big fish like the large variants are all just over the 5 kilogram mark so even as a fairly new player you can come here and make a lot of money in XP even if you don't have very very strong equipment yet um, I would say 18 kilogram will be about perfect for this lake but even 12 kilogram setups you should be all right all right guys now i fish it both with feeder and with spinning and where you catch these species um, anywhere in these deep parts of the lake <coughs> i usually come straight from the docks and i sit right here in line of that rocks you see there across but if this spot is a bit quiet you can come down here anywhere down here in the deep parts of the lake is where I catch these, these species the best now on the feeders I usually put out two feeders on my first feeder I put number one hook with my fly larva it's the one I put on my one feeder now I personally I use 25 kilogram setups with a 24.6 liter that is what I use here just because I don't want to struggle a long time to get the fish in but you can definitely go lower than that um, 18 kilograms should be fine anything from 12 to 18 kilograms should be fine on these species my second feeder I also put the number one hook I was fish with one hooks here because it's not massive big fish and on this one I put the normal mayfly just the normal usual mayfly that I put onto that one and in the third rod I do spinning with now the lures that work well um, <coughs> is your small spinners these CRL Mars 4 gram spinners they work rather well here your trout masters is also ok they are also not bad then the 18 gram Riva also good here but on the Riva you get a lot of grass pike the grass pike will bother you a bit on that one and a jig that works very very well uh, where is lures? where is my lures? <coughs> a jig that works very well is this one the twister whitefish one twister whitefish one it's a 4 gram this one works really really well that is this one is the best lure for this, this specific species but this one will cost you 
um, 15 blue tokens and that one I always pair on a ticket number one also the number one when I use that one boat here only has the two rod holders but you just switch between your rods with the rod numbers it's not really an issue we got a little like white fish you see only a one kilogram fish but almost 500 XP for that one, and that's without VIP. The normal lake whitefish average 500 to 600 XP. But your humpbacks, your muxins, um, and your linox, they go over a thousand XP per fish depending on the size you catch. So what I usually do during the day, I usually use the small spinners. Currently I have the CRL Mars 1 and I just use it on a real speed 25 with a little twitch now and then and we already got something on it. Little baby in the middle again. There is biting again. Here's the humpback white fish. This is one of the best ones. You see, only 300 gram, but almost 1,300 XP for this little fish. The large ones they go up to about two kilogram. Then you go over 1,500 XP, and this is without VIP really really good XP and money and you don't need huge strong equipment you can come here fairly early in the game you can come to this lake Fish. Someone also asked me the question um, is the feeders better or the spinning better? It's about 50 50. Um, I always fish like this with feeders and spinning, and both the spinning and feeders about catch the same amount of fish. If you only like to do spinning, you can certainly only do spinning, or if you only like to feed a fish, then you can feed a fish. I like to use three rods just to increase, increase your chances and increase the amount of fish you catch. But both of them, the one is not better than the other, both of them is fairly the same. I do get, sometimes I see that um, currently the feeders are nice and active but I do see sometimes that the feeders go a little bit quiet and then I catch a little bit more on the spinning and then a little while later then the feeders wake up again Here's another one that you will catch, the Arctic moose also not bad XP at all The feeder is nice and busy. Nice and little dice.
you will here and there you will get the small guys as well like these little birds and the little bays stuff like that so that was the one the spinner you have that much time the videos are keeping us busy the mars m1 m2 m3 but the one that works absolutely the best uh, user jigget size 110 and your twister whitefish one this this combination is for me by far the best on on this like if you have the 15 blue tokens tournament tokens to buy this guy it's definitely worth it for this like it works really really well here yeah. and it lasts quite a while um, I've been using this twister quite a lot since since the lake is released which, which is months ago now and it doesn't lost that much durability so it's not like you will have to constantly constantly replace it Got a moxoon, that's that's how the moxoons look. All of them is whitefish family, but this one another very very good XP fish 820 for this one, and that's without VIP. Then something else I just want to show you guys another thing about this lake, it has very very good quests. Um, the dailies um, always give four angler tokens so you can build up nice tokens here it always gives good xp between 13 and 16,000 xp for the daily quests here um, supply quest club supply quest is very good here it has a regular big club supply quests um, it has a really good income quests as well and consumables you don't see at the moment and it also has very good um, experience quests like this one here for almost 5000 xp so overall a really 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 good like for both xp and for money um, definitely worth worth it to buy this dlc like I will show you guys now. I'm just gonna let's get this one out, and I will go to the store and just show you how much money the fish are worth. We currently have in the net. And it's definitely for this size fish, for fish that only gets up to five kilogram. Um, it's definitely the best, best like in the game for a, a, a low and mid level players. Definitely the best. Here is the last Lake White Fish, the normal large one, over 800 XP. Definitely the best like for mid and low level players to come to. Get a nice boost here. Yeah? And even high level players, you regularly see the high level players here making the money, making the XP. Let me quickly go and show you guys here. So here you can see the Lenox. Very, very good money. The humpback white fishes, good money. All of these fish um, got currently almost 800 but my net is far from full uh, I have almost 50 kilogram left in the net so if you fill up you have filled up my net now would have gone close to a thousand silver and 
that is really really good without the need for heavy heavy strong equipment that is very very good um, the baits <coughs> um, the baits both the mayfly larva and the normal mayflies you can buy here there it is, is the prices the lure <coughs> The twister whitefish you can also buy here. There you can see it's 15 tournament tokens to buy that one. And the small spinner, the small mass spinners that I also use, these guys you buy them in Poland. So once you have access to Poland, then you can buy these small mass spinners. So in summary, guys, number one hook. Mayfly larva, number one hook, normal mayfly, then a spinning rod, a jigget size one jigget with the twister white fish, or the CRL Mars series, the four gram spinners, or the trout master spinners or even the, the Riva, Riva 18G but the Riva 18G should, should be plan Z that should be your last plan if you're not getting a bite at all on any of the other lures because this one does attract a lot of the grass pike and they are not such good money and XP so that's it guys that is um, how I fish here at Siberia for the best XP and money. Um, this is how you can get the best XP and money here specifically in Siberia. That's the species you can target and how you target them. Tight lines to all. Enjoy. I will see you again. Cheers.